12 News investigates now. A spike in carjackings really hit home for Milwaukee police. As WISN 12 News' Colleen Henry reports, two of its own were the latest victims. Julie Vang had no idea her Toyota Highlander was used to rob Milwaukee police officers. She got it back today after carjackers took it at gunpoint. I mostly just felt lucky that nothing, you know, worse could happen. The Vangs had just pulled in the driveway after a weekend road trip. They took their three little kids in the house and returned to get their luggage when a man with a gun demanded her husband's wallet and keys. I came out actually and I saw him and my husband did not have the key so I had the key in my hand so I just I had to throw it at them. Banks says police told them their carjackers had used the Highlander in other crimes. They just said that there was a group of kids um, going around and doing the same thing to you know, other cars. So. I don't know how many there are out there. 12 News has learned those victims include a Milwaukee police officer and her husband, a police lieutenant. Police say the officer pulled up to her house after her shift at the police department when the suspect came up to her car, put a gun in her face, and threw her to the ground. A police source tells 12 News the husband saw the confrontation, grabbed his gun, and fired a couple shots. The Highlander took off. A half hour later, squad spotted it near 21st in Roosevelt. Five occupants jumped out and ran. Police say they found a loaded gun and arrested them nearby. I was just glad nothing else happened. Julie Vang is thankful police caught the five. I'm pretty sure there's more of them out there, so hopefully they catch more. Officially, MPD will only say it's still investigating. In Milwaukee, Colleen Henry, WISN 12 News. Amazing. Four 16 year olds and one 20 year old are in custody tonight as a result. Milwaukee police say about 6,600 cars were stolen in 2014. So far in 2015, there have been 800 cars stolen. That's 100 ahead of the pace of last year.